me and Mary Carlisle. This I have a photo of it. We can enter in there. Oh, also. <gasps> <laughs> When I was in seventh grade, I had a gerbil named Mistletoe. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Isn't it so scary? Oh my god! Jay Taylor goes for those the teeth you were born with. <laughs> she said it like just in case I was gonna say yes. I go no, <laughs> Taylor, no. She oh goes god. okay because what the. <laughs> Were those the teeth you were born with? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. Yeah, we were stupid not to record this. <laughs> I'm literally going to barf. She wants to put it on the, the podcast so bad. I said, absolutely not. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm scared. <laughs> okay. Were those Guys, the teeth you were if, you're, if you're all really good podcast <laughs> listeners, for Christmas, I'll give you this photo. <laughs> No sooner, no later. <laughs> Anna Grace screamed. I mean, I just so, I was just so not ready. You guys I, really just like, I just so casually like so obviously um they they highly recommend against taking a photo of you in the in between stage of getting your veneers off because they shave your teeth down to little nubs, right? And so I of course naturally was like I would like to take a photo of this. <laughs> I just showed Anna Grace. <laughs> 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 It's so scary. And I showed Taylor. I called Taylor and I <laughs> sent her the picture. And she goes so softly and quietly. She goes, are those the teeth you were born with? And I was like, no. No, these are not the teeth I was born. She goes, okay, because what the fuck? <laughs> I, I, like, I am so like. You so go, it reminded She goes, and I said, oh, it reminded me of my gerbil in middle school mistletoe. <laughs> mistletoe. I thought it'd be cute to call her Misty. What the fuck? <laughs> What, okay, what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm just laughing because my immediate response, if you had told me like, Andrew, I was born with those teeth, <laughs> I would have been, I would have felt so bad. Okay, so first things first, I'm talking a little bit differently. Everyone that I FaceTimed is like, are you still numb? And I'm like, no, but you know, just new different I'm things like happening. I'm checking on my teeth. That's what yeah, I have temporaries on right now. So they look a little different, a little the same. Um, but yeah, I, I do enjoy this photo for my private viewing. Um, Producer Courtney was like, please. And then I showed her the picture thinking once she sees how jarring it is, she's going to understand why I'm like, this is absolutely not going on the internet. And she was like, please, can we put it on the podcast page? And I was like, no. Are we going to put it in the YouTube video? I don't think so. Come on. <laughs> no. Come on. You guys, if you guys get me up to 100,000 subscribers, I'll leak it. <laughs> I'll leak it. You and I just start leaking our own content. I said, is this when I start uh, OnlyFans? Only fans? Yeah, to get my nub pictures out. You're like under, you have the anesthesia and you're just like naked. It is so scary. That <laughs> reminds me of, um, what's that? Oh my God. Shannon. <laughs> They're so scary. It's so scary. I really just told Shannon before this. I didn't even know veneers were like I like I didn't know people had veneers. Like I probably would have just thought like your teeth looked different. Austin didn't know either. Yeah, my teeth. Yeah, okay. We could go on forever about the teeth. Honestly, it's like just, it's wow. It's just I'm really excited, and I know I already shouted them out, but Smile Texas in Houston is where I'm going. Dr. Julie has been wonderful throughout this entire process, and actually I touched on it a little bit on um on the Instagram yesterday because people like obviously like we can all say like, we don't see bad articles written about us. We don't do this, but like sometimes you just see them and sometimes you look for them and sometimes you don't look at them for eight months and you're healthier because of it. But sometimes you just do, right? And so like I personally, I know I always make light of like the, my teeth were turning on Twitter, but like dead ass, like I still see people be like, oh my God, I cannot with her horse mouth. And I'm like, so here's the thing. I say I have a horse mouth. I know I have a horse mouth. Why are you guys telling me? Like teeth aren't something you can just like change. I obviously can change it, but like you guys have seen, I've gone to Houston three times. I've had three different appointments. You have to get your teeth literally like sawed off and shaved down. And then oh. it's a big process. And honestly, I should be so lucky that I have the means to do it. And mm -hmm. I have like, uh, like fortunately this like platform to even talk about it. But what I'm saying is not everyone can just go get their teeth taken off and fixed. So just remember that when you're talking shit about something that's attached to someone's face like right, that they can't change that they can't change i of course can change it mm -hmm. but like and i wasn't born with the <laughs> with the tiny teeth that you saw in that photo you know it's just like really it just 
I already <laughs> knew that and was already insecure about something like that. And then people just like shove it down my throat. And I'm like, what do you guys not understand about me already saying it's my biggest insecurity? Like why go there? Say something else. There's so many other things to pick on me about. Like overall, pretty annoying personality. Like <laughs> pretty crude, pretty like loud. Let's go there. Let's go with the things that I could actively change if I went to therapy, but don't. Okay. <laughs> Let's stay away from the teeth stuff. Okay. So that is, uh, that is the teeth. That's the teeth journey we're on. I get my permanent. Oh, so I go to the Coachella with these temporaries on. Oh, yeah. Because so Anna Grace. Oh, yeah. So Anna Grace and I are going to Coachella. Yeah, this is like we found out a day ago. We found out quite literally a day ago. We're going back with Revolve. So honestly, I guess I didn't fuck up too bad with the sound bath situation. Yeah. No, you did. You killed it. <laughs> Crushed it. Okay. So, yes, we love we love Revolve. We love that they're sending us to Coachella. That makes me very happy. And We're going to get into some bouffante. We're going to just what. do some absolute debauchery. I was we talking are. to uh, <laughs> someone on the phone, and he was like, what outfits do you have planned out? I'm sure they're belligerent as fuck. And I was like, they actually are. They, uh, they, they are. are. <laughs> they, what we I'm are so wearing. excited. And here's the best part. When I walked in, by the way, Shannon, you look fabulous in this oh, suit. Oh, thank you. Like, We're having a little Fendi moment. It really caught my eye. And it was like, it's kind of giving denim. It really and, caught my credit um, card statement. It really, I'm sure it did, but it was worth it. Honestly, oh agreed. You can wear them separately together. Yeah, versatile. An versatile. investment. <laughs> An investment piece. Um, but I will say that, um, we'll give you guys a little sneak peek teaser. We are going for some like full on, like kind of matching. Denim well, denim Anna Grace and I, you know, it's funny. Me and Taylor used to be like this and people would be like, what? I, there is something to be said about like not full on matchy, 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 but mm -hmm. coordinating mm -hmm. with your friend. Taylor and I always will be like, uh, she'll send me something and I'll be like, oh, do they have it in blue? She's like, yeah, they do. I'm getting it in yellow. You're getting it in blue. But I love to coordinate. I just think it's cute when it's done correctly. It's just fun when you and your friend look like you absolutely showed up there, like planned together with together. I just like it. And also like me was a wardrobe stylist. Well, still is, but not actively in Clarksville. <laughs> it's all in the details. The details. It's in the details. So when you coordinate little tiny details, yeah. you're like, okay, these two guys go together. Also, our TikTok content's about to be out of control. Out of control. I already told her, don't make me do any fucking dances. I looked at her because Anna Grace loves to do this. She's like an incredible <laughs> dancer. Her and Taylor, again, I'm like, why do I surround myself with these little bebop poly pockets that can just like coordinate it and do things? Uh, she'll like be like, oh my God, I found a dance for us to do. Um, it's not hard. I'm like, no. And she's like, no, 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 look, don't even get discouraged. Don't get discouraged. Look. And she'll like show it to me. And I'm like, absolutely not. She's like, it's basically just the same four count over and over again. I'm like, I don't know what that is. No, <laughs> I don't dance on TikTok. I make funny memes. Gosh, but you look hot as hell on TikTok. Oh my God. Thank you. Viral yeah, face. We're just like, you doing don't have to dance. <laughs> I don't if, you dance. Can, if you could dance, that wouldn't be fair. That would be too many things. I say that about me singing. I'm like, if this boy, if this, <laughs> if I could do that, it, it, God said no too much. Absolutely too much. That's just too much talent. Mm. You can't be this hot and a good dancer and a good singer. Could you imagine? I can't. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're doing that. Oh, by the way, the morning toast went great. If you're listening to this podcast now because you came over from the morning toast, their followers are so sweet. We brought up the toaster strudel thing. And it's so funny. Claudia remembered. She goes, wait, I have this like vague memory of this happening. And I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, that's and this is even funnier. I got a DM from someone. All the DM said was, I'm so sorry. Like, I can't even believe I ever sent that. I'm so sorry. And so obviously <laughs> I opened it. I was like, what? And I opened it and her only messages she had sent me before were from like 2019 when the incident happened. <laughs> the <event>. <laughs> <laughs> and toaster gate, strudel gate, <laughs> not strudel gate. When strudel gate happened, she had messaged me like, ha ha, you dumb bitch. <laughs> she was like, next time fact check, bitch. I was like, Oh, and then she's like, I'm so sorry. Yeah. She was like, wait, I feel so silly. I'm so sorry. I ever sent that you were great on the toast and like happy to be here and following you. I was like, oh my God, Oh, it was so nice. I was like, oh my God, I so appreciate that. And that was a really long time ago. We're going to just assume that your pitchfork in 2019 has been retired. I would have just unsent it. I wondered if she didn't know she could do Sometimes that. Sometimes people don't know. That. Hey guys, if you ever send a message, you can unsend it. You can unsend it. I just like want everyone to know. Just you can hold protection. it down and unsend it. I was like, wait, she apologized. And then I, I mean, the, the messages were pretty brutal. <laughs> they were like, die, you redheaded. They evil were bitch. like wild as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, oh, oh my God. I was like, that's scary. Um, yeah, but I appreciate, you know what? I always appreciate anyone that apologizes because. I've done some whack ass shit. And if you just say sorry, like then, you oh. know, and mean it, if you say sorry, mean it. Like you could tell she was like, I'm embarrassed, <laughs> like, sorry, which I should have been like, you can unsend those, you know? Um, but yeah, we're going to Coachella and we're excited. We're spending, 
I, the, we're still in my kitchen. Welcome back to my cooking show. I'm never going to get this <laughs> fucking house finished. Welcome back to my, I kind of like it, though. It's kind of fun. You know, I've got, like, walkers, like, scribbled pictures on my it's fridge. It's like people are here with us in the house. They're with us in this home. You guys have been here probably longer than I have because I told producer Courtney that I woke up uh, twice in the middle of the night. I was like, where am I? Because I was like, where am I? I've been sleeping in so many different mm-hmm. beds and places that I'm like, oh, where am I? Here I am. did that last night. Oh, I've lived really? In for th- like, for <laughs> okay. Under a month, and I still like can't. You're like, up. where am I? I don't yeah, know where I am. it's it's a whole thing. So, anyways, one of these days I will be in Nashville for longer than three days. But we are a boot scooting boogieing. When I tell you the amount of clothes that have been delivered to my house, Anna Grace and I are talking about it. We just like we went, will never tell you. <laughs> we just will never tell you. <laughs> We will never tell you. We won't. We won't say. We won't say. <laughs> we won't say. Well, we found uh, out. And for like, legal reasons, we're unable to Shannon's say. Shannon's in her Uber, and she's like, I just had a glass of, like, a beautiful, like, she literally just got off the morning toast. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, hey, listen, I know you're busy and all, but, like, pull over. Get on yeah. the phone. We have, to, we have to overnight everything right now. Right now. Job. So we were, because we just, like, want to be flossing. We want to look flossy Yeah. Fucks. We have, like, fun looks, and Revolve's always, like, pre-order or one left. At, yes. Like, what we wanted. And so yeah. we were like, no, we need this, like, ASAP Rocky. So we we fought tooth and nail Ta- tooth and nail we have some of this stuff coming in i'm like what the fuck was we my thought process on this one i'm like not the fucking like mossy oak hat <laughs> what was i gonna do with that i'm like what what is this what is poison this? ivy poison ivy we're going costume full cosplay i don't know anyways we're gonna figure it out and it's gonna be cool so you guys look forward to that it'll be next gonna, week yeah, holy shit we're, <laughs> by the time this podcast comes out we'll be probably heading to la yeah we're actually gonna be in la collectively together as a boof squad for 10 days 10 to- days eight tw- days Oh, is it eight days total of April? We're, yeah. we're going back out to first stage. Oh my God. And we're going to uh, Festival Girly Pops. They said, do you know who loves a festival? Shannon and Anna Grace. Yeah. <laughs> also kind of like my worst nightmare. Like again, I'm like the sound bass in the festival is too totally. I'm like, again, if we could just get this ass shaking on a yacht. <laughs> that's what we're trying to be. Shannon's but like, listen, we're trying to be a Positano. We got to get get in where you fit in. And right now, this Girly Pop is being invited to sound baths in Coachella. So this Girly Pop is going to go shake hands kiss babies and maybe then she will be shaking her ass on a yacht yes so that's what we're gonna do baby steps baby steps so anyways love me revolve please uh <laughs> we and you know revolve is great because like i said they always let you bring a plus one so if we go to italy boof squad always there as well um <laughs> i'll be in italy i'm like, perfect <laughs> we're like perfect um, we're already gyrating she's like already pulling up dances she's gonna teach you i'm like no I'm you're like, uninvited this is on the front of the yacht a titanic <laughs> moment i'll hold you perfect <laughs> perfect 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 um yeah okay so we're excited for coachella we're gonna do that and we will be there for 10 days and honestly i just think we're gonna get into some absolute debauchery and i'm excited for it i can't wait to come back and talk um about it. what else happened oh i like so funny i the guy that i went and like my friend introduced us and we just like went for a casual date and i was like he was really nice we talked for four hours he was super sweet and you were like maybe he's loving your life and i was like no i don't think so i think we just like got to know each other and he was nice had sex with him the next day so <laughs> she <laughs> that really like, took a turn <laughs> true, it, on the podcast immediately it was like yeah we're definitely just friends and i was like oh sweet love it and nice. then like i i the next day i'm at planet fitness <laughs> just working out working on my fitness we're two very different lives <laughs> our lives are just steadily I, i've had a juice i've had a caffeine beverage i'm feeling good shannon's like just texting since we have a selfie and she's like guess i just got dick down in dallas and i'm like i'm literally, actually i was in Nashville. i'm literally like first of all where are you second of all who <laughs> yeah I, like i'm like when where we just talked yesterday and there was no one yeah honestly Interesting. It, short it, king <laughs> no he's here's the thing personality 10 out of 10 yeah. no maybe even 12 out of 10 12 what, and it's funny because my friend said like you will really like this guy he's hilarious and if you are funny i will fuck you <laughs> i will i will no look at me i will it, it's it, a problem that is i it's mean not a problem it's, it, the, I just it's mean, the key it's, it's facts it's the key to right it's and facts. i really think that that's why you and i had we ran mad game i'm saying we in the past tense because i am off the market but mad game was we're funny dude we're funny we're funny. than most girls <laughs> if you're listening to this and you're not a funny girl you know i'm funnier than you <laughs> no i'm kidding that's mean i'm kidding but like here's the thing but like also girls be fucking funny dude girls are funny like I, think, there's some busted ass funny dude that you're like i fucking 100 and this guy wasn't busted by any means he was just like you know he was he was certainly under my uh preferred height he was meter. a short king a short king we love that <laughs> um but yeah i don't i was absolutely like 100 there's no questions asked that i'm gonna have sex with this person He's he hilarious. made me feel so comfortable and laughed. I, I just love funny guys. Yeah. And you guys, there's actually a specific term that I did not know that existed. But I think this is for specific comedians. 
But is it? No, okay, well, just, okay, oh. let me paint the picture. Okay, so we sit down at dinner. <laughs> We're in New York and Shannon just drops this term on me and I'm like, wait, hold up, run it back. So you know how there's like people that only love athletes? Cleat, cleat chasers. chasers. Right. And then there's like, what is the other uh, one? There's people that only love like like hockey players, puck bunny. Puck bunny. Um, there's one for golfers. Oh, what's the one in Yellowstone where they're- um, Oh, 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 oh. They uh, ride- um, um, Damn it. Uh, 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 you know the one. You know the one. They're riding the- They're on the bulls. They're- <laughs> Damn it. They're, what they're, are they? They're bell- Barrel racers. But, uh, Buckle bunnies. Buckle bunnies. Buckle bunnies. Yes. Okay. So a lot of bunnies. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know all that. And Shannon's like, well, yeah, I'm a, I'm a chuckle fucker. I think <laughs> I was like, a I'm a what? chuckle fucker. A chuckle fucker. I am 100% a chuckle fucker. Listen, I am friends that's with chasing a, funny dudes. That's <laughs> I am going to fuck you if you're funny. And that's just, that's just Bible. Everyone hide your fucking man. <laughs> yeah. If your man's funny, fucking hide him from me. Cause <laughs> we're going to fuck. Okay. So, um, anyways, I I've cried like three times. <laughs> I'm friends with an actual comedian and I was talking to him and I was like, do you guys have a term for like people that just only have sex with comedians? And he was like, yeah, chuckle fuckers. And I was like, so I can't coin the phrase. Although like, although I'm not out here specifically having sex with comedians open to the opportunity, they all seem kind of jaded though. So maybe not so much. It, it feels dark. It feels a bit dark. Um, people that are actually really, really funny. Like I'm just kind of funny men that are like funny for a living. Ooh, they're real. They've got a lot going on upstairs and <laughs> they've got, they've got, they've got a lot. and I just, I don't know if I'm the fixer. I don't really, I don't know if I'm the fixer upper for the chuck. I just, I'm a chuckle fucker. I'm, I'm not a fixer upper. Okay. So I will say that I do feel like, I feel like being funny, you're pretty mentally stable. Thank you so much. I really do. I mean, like I said that gently because I'm like, let me think that one through, but I do. Thank you, you so feel much. Stable. Thank you. There That's, are, there are some really funny dudes that I'm like, Ooh, Demons that are making you way funnier, but funny some demons, demons. <laughs> funny demons they got attached. Some giggle demons. They got you got some giggle demons. That's a giggle bot deep inside of you. Um. So, anyways, yeah, I I am stealing this comedian phrase because I I will just I will have sex with anyone that's funny. I get that. Honestly, so I, I my yeah. Well, here's the thing. I'm not gonna have sex with anyone that's funny. Here's what's <laughs> here's the thing. If you are just like teetering on like like someone I would just physically like physicality this is why like and I talked about this with on the other podcast with Mary Carla she's like I don't understand your type like you physically like what are you into like it's it's all over the map we don't I was know. like we don't know personality <laughs> I just really personality girl through and through you really are and I actually love that about you because like you're hot as hell so oh, you could you. really get anyone but Shannon will surprise you. Honestly, actually, you're all of your your last boyfriend, John. I mean, he was beautiful. No, no, so beautiful. But also, like like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, John's like, wait a minute. Yeah, <laughs> everyone that used to date me is like, what the fuck? I'm like, I only date ugly guys, but they sure are funny. <laughs> John calls in. He's like, hello. <laughs> John's very attractive. <laughs> And John understood my jokes. Like, I need you to understand my sense of humor as well. Like, he was always like, you are so fucking dumb. But like, he was like laughing while yeah. he said it. Like, God, I, there's nothing worse than talking to a guy and your jokes laying flat. And you're like, that was That, that was, was such funny. a good joke. Oh my God. Like, anyone else would have just died over that. I really had- I think that's why we're friends. Gotta be. And you know who's also like so, so sneaky funny that people do not realize? Because she doesn't showcase it a lot T-T. on her Instagram. TT. Taylor Monaco is she so is funny. She funny. She makes she, me laugh. She And she's like, I feel like, yeah, she needs to post some. She does. And she is just like, she will surprise the she's fuck out of me. funny. Yeah, very witty. So anyways, um, yeah, I, I just am much more into like a personality. And I used to have this rule when I was dating. It's called the just kidding rule. I guess I'm still dating. So I still have this. But mm-hmm. like, if I have to tell you I'm just kidding three times, you know what I mean? Like if I'm texting you, I know things are harder to like understand when you're texting and stuff. But Honestly, I don't think so. And if I have to text you and be like, I'm just kidding, then it's just not going to work out. It's not going to work. You're not going to get I, it. I like actively hear a lisp. Am I talking funny? No. No? No. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's like the first thing that Austin said. He's like, you have to banter back and forth. There's no like, oh, I'm just kidding or well, no. Austin is hilarious. Yeah, Austin is hilarious. When he slid through your DMs and said, that's not a face mask, that's apple jelly from Waffle House. Yeah, I was like, this me. man. <laughs> I said, if you, what did I say? If you don't text him back, I will. Yeah, she I said, she I said, this guy's funny. I'm sorry. Tap me in, coach. <laughs> I will go. If you don't take advantage of this right now, this guy is funny as fuck. He is. So um, everything he said was just jarring, but we loved it. I mean, it was just hilarious. Moral of the story is we just love, we love a funny man. So we really like drove I, home. I just couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't really like, like hone in on my looks my whole life. I, I think I've just become attractive in my late twenties. So like That's... I've had to develop personality. So I respect the men who had to as well. 10 out of 10 if you're hot and funny, but I think those are like, those are kept for special people, not for me. I've got to just pick one. Yeah. So basically, where did we land with Short King? 
Oh yeah, so short king, we can't call him that. He's, <laughs> I'm sorry, his, that's his name. He's a short. No, king. he's a funny guy. <laughs> no, he's short king. No, he, he's not that short. Okay, he's about my height. No, he is not. <laughs> no, he's absolutely not. He's definitely taller than me. Okay, <laughs> I'm like five two. This poor guy. He definitely does not listen to the podcast. That's so fine. Yeah. Um. Long and story short, uh, one night stands here for him. Had one. We're keeping it casual. I mean, I don't even know why I'm saying we're keeping it casual. We haven't really talked. We've just like communicated here and there. We'll like text one. He's so funny. I want to talk. I catch myself wanting to talk to him. That's he's the really thing. Funny. It's like he, I feel like you guys are keeping the communication open. Like, hey, let's. This game he doesn't live here. Serious. By the way, right. you guys obviously he doesn't live here because I obviously don't fuck with him that live here. So yeah, you guys know the rules. <laughs> you guys know the fucking rules. So uh yeah, I mean it's one of those things. Like I don't even know if I'll I think we'll maybe like if we run into each other down the road, sure, but it doesn't seem like something that this I had a great one night stand. You know, sometimes you leave one night stands and you're like, oh my God, what the fuck? Like that just made me feel bad about myself. I'm mad that I did that. I, I left there and was like, he made me feel so confident. So like I laughed the whole time. Yeah. We just had. You even talked to me that morning. Like I really enjoyed him. I just really enjoyed his presence. Mm -hmm. Obviously, like the dick was just great. It was Everything was fine. Yes. Everything was fine. Which was a really good way to end your week because there was a death this week. There was a death. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, we did have to kill Wi-Fi guy. And here's the thing, uh, you hate to do it, you hate to do it. Listen but up, ladies, we're going to talk about this. <laughs> this is something that Anna Grace taught me a very long time ago. I'm going to let her take it away. <clears throat> but here's the deal. When I first met her, and still to this day, this bitch is cutthroat. We, I remember, I think it actually was a girl at first. It might have been a girl. It like was. a friendship or something. This is years ago. And she, she was like, oh, sorry, I had to kill her. And I was like, what? And she was like, I killed her. So let me let you guys, I'll, I'll let Anna Grace explain her. <laughs> I, I love it. I love it because like sometimes you just got to kill them. You got to kill them. It's like, <clears throat> it's weird because it's it's almost like a superpower. <laughs> no, hers is like crazy. I'll be like, I'll give him another chance. She's like, oh, oh no, I killed him last week. You can't give him another chance. <laughs> He's dead. I can't come back from the dead. There's like this TikTok that's like, oh, you think I'm a bitch? Because like I was nice and then I was nice and I was nice oh, and yeah. I was nice and I was nice and then like blah, blah, blah. And then, yeah. like, and then you're, and then for me, I'm like, and then you're dead. And then you're like, dead. I'm nice and I'm nice. And it's like, you push it to like, I have like three rings. Your okay? threshold, once you pass over it, you ain't getting back in. There's three rings. And like the first one, you get an eh. The second one, I'm like, I did not like that. The third <laughs> one. This is exactly how it is. The third one, I'm like, listen up. Bitch, the plate is broken and no one's safe. Girls, guys. No, and really here's family members. <laughs> she's honestly like rainbows and sunshine through and through, and that's who she is. But when when you I know, I see it. When it's that look in her eye, I'm like, oh no, they're dead. They're dead. She killed them. And I do feel like my life is rainbows and sunshine because you kill people. I kill people. <laughs> because I'm a killer. I'm a certified kill. Get, 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 get. You're dead. But I don't like I physically can't let that like you know where you're just like seething over someone yeah and you have like shower fights and yeah then you're like running it it's like all of a sudden I'm like there is no coming back I don't want to be friends with this person because I'm in that like toxic energy right. and then boom I wake up and they're dead and they're dead and it's like they never existed inside my brain because I literally decide in that moment I'm there's no coming back there's no fixing the plate the plate's broken yeah it's shattered into a million, million pieces there's no amount of super glue that can glue the pieces back together we're done dead and then I'm like I cannot let you take up space in my energy and then it's like all of a sudden I do the same where I kind of like stomp it out <laughs> out, out the bottom I run around I jump around I'm like they're gone and I won't I won't think about them anymore so I I have adopted <laughs> this uh skill set from Anna Grace and I can I think it's not funnier because we never want this to happen to our friends but like when you kill dudes it's way funnier because when we kill girls like friendships and stuff were like that needed to happen that's sad we killed them we're moving on goodbye <laughs> we buried them with flowers right okay mm -hmm. men were like fucking just murdering them with Mur ice picks there was one, this one guy that we killed and when she calls me and tells me this it always makes me laugh so hard because her descriptions of killing them she's like oh we had to kill him <laughs> uh, i had to kill him and, and it's like and it's so abrupt that they don't even know they've been killed they this have no one idea i was still trying to play my birthday party oh my god this one guy was like texting me like so her birthday's coming up I'm like oh my god you're dead <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh, no like, he's like maybe if i throw a surprise and she's like oh <gasps> Oh, sorry, dude. You were cremated two weeks ago. Yeah, and once they're they're cremated, like we don't even bury them. It's just cremation yeah, station. Yeah, blow into the wind, and it's gone. But then you know what? That's that's why we don't hold on to stuff. We don't, and so we did have to kill Wi-Fi guy. Which I do want to give a little bit of preface because I got to give Shannon some um, props and some praise right now. Oh, because me being her um, 
single like fairy godmother i'm not really a wing woman because i'm really out but i'm like watching over mm-hmm. you know what i mean i'm just calling her every second you're like help me and she's okay. like okay <laughs> yeah i'm like i feel like i feel like i can give good advice now you can't decide okay so anyways Shannon has been saying that she is working on like when she meets a guy not like falling into that trap of like molding yourself into being who they yeah. want to be. Did it for a long time. She's like, I am just going to be who I am. And we kind of had a little blip at the beginning of the year where she was like hurt by someone. And I'm like, I think it was a test. And you were kind of doing that thing where you molded. She's like, you're right. We're not going to do that. Oh my God. So it was then- bad too. And I was like, I knew I was doing it. I was watching myself do it. I was like buying clothes I wouldn't buy. And I was like, oh my God, I'm doing that thing. But I couldn't stop. It was like word vomit on like mean girls. Like I could not stop myself. And I was like, I'm not doing that anymore. And I told her to hold me accountable. I said, I, I, I told myself I wouldn't do that anymore when like my ex and I broke up and we were having, I'm now looking for the right part. Like my end goal I'm like you have to be yourself through and through mm-hmm. don't do this it's so it's like we just said the last one it takes too much effort to be someone you're not right it's confusing so yeah. she's been holding me accountable and she definitely called me out whenever I was like buying like I won't even go into it just like it was, things I shouldn't be buying y'all, it was wild <laughs> it was she was here when one of the packages came and goes you would like, literally never fucking do what are you doing and I was like it, it was uh, expensive She's like, you don't ski. And I was like, oh. yeah, she's like a professional <laughs> skier. I'm like, Shannon, we don't know how to ski. And she's like, why did you just buy a $1,300 Montclair puffer? I was like, it's in fashion. <laughs> she's like, it's trendy. I'm like, she's no, like, okay. she's like, <laughs> but here's the positive. The positive. I mean, I'm going to tell you guys, if you've done that, that's okay. Because that was last year, by the no, way, that a while was, ago. That was, yeah, that was before the new year. So I feel like the universe gives us tests, right? They're like, are you ready for your person? And this is a test. So Shannon got a test and he came in the form of Wi-Fi guy. So Wi-Fi guy, as you guys know, we were still have never met. So this is it, it, very, very easy to kill someone that you've not met or had sex it with. It's pretty easy. It's very easy. Sex I'd makes say. things really confusing. Totally. So anyways, I, yeah, he had shown a little bit of red flags here and there, like the not talking to you for two days when you talk to me every day from morning to night and then just were like, oh, sorry, my phone broke. And I was like, that is weird. Also, a lot of people DM me like stories about how their phone broke and they were all still like at the end of the message being like, but I was texting someone within an hour. Mm-hmm. And the next one was like, and mm-hmm. also, and the next one was also like, and also I do just want to preface that I think that guy was lying, <laughs> but I did break <laughs> my phone, but I think that guy was lying. I was like, yeah, yeah. you're like, yes. But so he just said, you know what really just like kept irking my nerves. I could just tell he's, is, he's an insecure person, like, but not so, so insecure. I could just tell that there was like little tidbits that he was accidentally showing me. So I was like, what's going to happen whenever I like really unveil this person. Right. And he kept saying stuff about like social media. He's like, could you ever spend like a weekend off social media? And I was like, uh, yeah, for do I, if I had to like, what is it for a game show or what's the deal here? (laughs) Yeah. If I was on naked and afraid, yeah, sure. I could probably go off of social media, but like, I just don't understand people that are like, it's like I said in that condescending manner. People are like, what would you do if Instagram like died tomorrow? I'm like, I don't know. What would you do if you're fucking you're like firm closed. If dental hygienist like went out tomorrow, what would we all do if we lost our job? We'd, We'd find, find another, another one. one. I don't <laughs> What do you mean? What would I do without Instagram? I'd get a fucking job, Karen. <laughs> God damn. The fuck? So anyways, he was very like, yeah, what would you do without social media? Like social media is very much your thing, huh? And I'm like, it's literally the hundred percent. Yep. That's what I do. And I just didn't like it, but he would always catch himself. Like he messaged me something else one day where he was like, that's a pretty, that's a pretty, uh, what do you say? That was a pretty tiny swimsuit we're wearing on the Instagram page, which I'm like, ooh. And I wrote back and it was like, yeah, they are the tiny bikinis aren't going anywhere. Love them. Like, and I was like, yes. proud of myself. Cause we're not, I'm not going to backpedal and be like, oh, I know I, it was so small. It came in the mail and I was like, oh, this is so small. But then I posted it anyway. I was like, no bitch. Like, I, I had to, the brand made me and it was yeah. really sweaty, but I was like, whatever. I'm getting paid to wear it. Right. Like, no. like I could have gone a million. I mean, me, great liar. I could have come up with a million reasons to like justify the tiny bikini, but I was like, ooh, <laughs> this is so gross. Like it's yeah. And he was like, no, I'm into it. Cause I, th- I think I said like, is there a problem? And he was like, no, I'm into it. And I was like, oh, are you? Because it seems to me like you're trying to call me out for wearing a tiny bikini on my Instagram, yeah. which is just like odd behavior. OK, yeah. weird. It, no. So anyways, it was just kind of going like, again, I kept saying like, remember, I would be like, it's so weird. We never FaceTime anymore. And then you said like, he's probably talking to someone else. I was like, yeah, probably also like never met him. So don't really care that much. Yeah. But it was just getting kind of weird. And then it finally just started really like I was on the verge of killing him. And then then his like sign off from this earthly world with me in it was the text messages. Please pull it up. Pull it up. I'll read them. I, I giggled too. But the universe really just said, I'm going to serve you a test and we're going to see if you pass. And ladies and gentlemen, we will let you decide if she passed the test. Take okay. Away, Shannon. So he just <laughs> randomly said we were talking about like maybe seeing each other when he gets right. back to the States. Right. Mm-hmm. And he said, so phones off the weekend in blank when I'm back. 
Also, are we trying to hide that we're spending time together? It was like, so weird. We I was like, I'm not going to post a selfie with you. We're going to be meeting the first time. I don't yeah. know if I like you either, boy. Yeah. So relax. I'm not trying to put you on my page. Yeah. I was like, what? And so anyways. I didn't show Austin for like five months. Yeah. We're like, my <laughs> my boyfriend reveal is going to be down the aisle. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm There's showing There's going to be a ring on my finger. <laughs> okay. Um, he said, so phone's off when we're in blank, whatever I'm back or not. And I said, I'm confused by the question. If we meet up in blank, do you want my phone off? And he said, ha ha, yes. I said, sure, why? Are you trying to kidnap me or something? <laughs> and he like, he responded something funny and I was like, okay, <laughs> all right. And then he just randomly, we were talking about what he was doing that day. He just randomly texted me 20 minutes later and said, um, can you go a weekend without social media or not? I said, you're really driving the pick. Yeah. Okay. We're like, relax. All right. Chill. And I said, I mean, if I have to work, I'll post stories, but yeah, I guess I've gone a weekend or two without social media. And I, then I said, put the gavel down, judge Judy. I love that. Put it, put it down, put it down, put it down. He said, no, someone has to make this work. And I said, you got a lot of rules boy. And he said, and <gasps> and I said, and I don't love rules. And he said, why not? I said, because I like doing what I want to do and being who I am. Yes. That's all I said, because I like do. <laughs> that's what I, I like doing what I want to do and being who I am. Why would I need to follow anyone's rules? Like what? I'm like, huh? So he goes, I think we're going to have some issues. And I literally wrote back. I'm figuring that out. I think you might need you a sweet little quiet gal with no social media. Good luck finding her. And he wrote back and said, sounds good. And we have not spoken since that was a week ago. And I mean, like I unfollowed him on social media, which, oh, this is the fucking this kicker. Is the, this is the icing on the cake. Bring you know what home. I love? The man who could not stop asking me about social media and was like, oh, social media is just not my thing. He's got like a private Instagram and not that many followers. And he doesn't follow that many people, which at first was attractive to me. I find that attractive in a guy that's not super obsessed with social media. Oh, we love a low follow. A low follow blue check is Austin calls himself. <laughs> Austin does call himself a low follow blue check. And we do love that Austin. We love that. He's so a king. <laughs> at first I was like, I love this. He doesn't follow that many people blah, blah blah he's private this is great and then yeah it's funny because i remember because we were talking every day i would see him change his profile picture like once a week i would see him add photos and delete photos i changed my profile photo once every two years yeah i've never changed mine i don't think no i did it like two years ago but yeah two years ago <laughs> yeah okay like, relax so then there was another thing he would do he would like un um archive photos and then re-archive like weird shit right and, and I also like, that to us was just sus behavior i was just like what are you doing it's so weird and i would ask him because you know me i'm like very straightforward i'm like what are we doing here on like what's un this game doing we're the the photos and like not. i liked your photo then you archive it yeah and he goes he goes oh i don't know i just like i can't ever decide if i like photos or not and i was like that's weird and then he would change his profile picture all the time it's just odd i was like what is he the probably game want all the girls knowing they were liking the photos yeah or I something don't know. or like commenting on them or something. i could not keep up and i just stopped trying also to. don't care but yeah but anyways um um, so for the guy that just was like, uh, can you ever get off social media? When I tell you I unfollowed him and I want to say 26 minutes later, he unfollowed me. So like Anna Grace, goes, no, I sent you a voicemail back. I go, Shannon, like, I was like jarred by this. I was like, Shannon, you could unfollow me. My best friend could unfollow me. She would know. For I years. would literally never, never know. know. I my boyfriend could unfollow me on Instagram. I would never, never know. know. If you unfollow me, I don't, one, don't know. know and I don't care. The only way I would find out is if I randomly, randomly. Do we still, do people still do that app? app? I think maybe he must have That's the app. That's toxic. I don't Delete know. Delete that app, y'all. I cares? don't know. But I was just literally like, if you know that someone unfollowed you, you need help. Like you need to not know. That's just like too weak. It's just like too. And also don't do that to yourself. If you're trying to just see who unfollows you. I don't, I like yeah, not knowing. That, that, that's like, that's just like trying to hurt your feelings. But I just thought it was so funny. I was like, oh, Mr. No social media knew within seconds. I mean, it's just he like. He has like a notification. It's like ding, ding. from that unfollow app. It's like, you're trying to follow me. I mean, I was just like, get the fuck out of here. Whoever he ends up with. But you know what? I want to just go ahead and say that anytime a situation like that happens, first of all, you handle that with beauty, grace, Thank poise. I'm so you. proud of you. She passed the test. And the moment that you get a test like that and you're like, I'm going to stand in my power and stay true to myself. That's just like, you're one step closer to finding the person that you're like, okay, I've up leveled. Yeah. And I'm not going to do that behavior. You're not going backwards. Yeah. And I told her, like I told you guys, and I told Ada Chris before, I'll literally look at myself and be like, we're not doing that anymore. We're not doing that anymore. Yeah. She like, really has. We're I've not, been holding you accountable and you've been really impressing me. I haven't. Thank you. I've been mm -hmm. trying to like really hone in because I'm not going to find the person I'm looking for if I'm being some bouffante over here, not right. doing the right shit as well. So, uh, yeah, we killed Wi Fi guy, RIP. Um, <sighs> Murder. He, he had, I wouldn't have talked to someone sun up to sundown for two months if he was. I mean, he had some certainly like nice qualities about him, but um, yeah, no for me, dog. It's going to be a well, hard too, no. Sometimes it's just dating's hard because you have to invest time and energy in people to like figure it out. Yeah, you do. And yeah. 
I don't want to just be so I feel bad now. I don't want to be like so brutal, but like, honestly, I don't fucking care because that was just such a weird. And also we did talk for two months. So I thought maybe like after I was like, hope you find her good luck finding her. And he said, sounds good. Like I thought maybe he'd be like, hey, like, I don't think this is going to really exactly we, we're on two different pages, but blah, blah, blah. Like to really just like then never say anything else again. I was like, OK, <laughs> I guess I did say like good luck finding her. Yeah, that <laughs> he was, was like that, that felt, was kind of the exit. That felt pretty goodbye. <laughs> but anyways, I was just like, OK, um, but uh, yeah. I was like not gonna unfollow him for a while, and then you and Beck were both like, "Unfollow him because why are you so?" Well, him? the thing too now it's like I always felt like people search my followers a lot, you know? Yeah, true. Like people can like really connect some dots. Now you'll never figure out who you are. Now was. you'll never know. Like it's, <laughs> that. See, that's part of. That's how you get away with murder. You can't that leave. Is, you can't, you can't leave, leave the breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs behind. So we had to clean up the no fingerprints. We had to clean up the crime scene. Yeah. So they're... that's really for the unfollow because typically I would tell you guys like don't unfollow. That's immature. But this one you had to go. Yeah. Also, it was just like he kind of did like really like perturb me yeah. and irk me. And so I was like, um, I don't really want to be following you. So I don't give a fuck. I don't want to see your little. I kind of love to block people. <laughs> you block people so much. I never. I like. I block like random strangers that talk shit to me on the internet. She'll be like. She'll be like. I'll be like. Oh, Jessica's annoying me. She's like. Oh, I blocked her. I'm like. We see her all the time. What the fuck? She's like. Should I unblock her? I'm like. No, not now. I'm stressed. I'm off. Sweating. She's like. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I blocked her. I was like. Well, wow. This God. Is they were like so many people that were really mean to you, and I don't know. I was just like. I don't, I don't have the time. <laughs> block. I'm like. I didn't even block them. She's like. Well, I thought we well, were. And, and, oh, I thought we were. <laughs> Well, and like one time, like I just like people like when they try to like subtweet you or like a subtweeter gets a block from me. Oh yeah, because I'm like now you want to make sure that I'm eventually seeing that, and I don't want you to think I can even no. See that. And like I don't have like a fence or anything, so like when you're blocked, it's like your plan really failed. Yeah, because we're not looking. So, um, yeah. Anyways, so that's that on that. <sighs> How to get away with murder 101. That's gonna be the episode name. Is that is that the episode name or is it Chuckle Fucker? <laughs> oh damn, we <laughs> there's really, just so many options. We really dropped a lot of it's good. It's funny little... because we have to do this and when the episode's over and I listen to it, and then Courtney, producer Courtney, is editing it and she sends over like the description and she's like, so for title, and then I'm like, hmm. We got in a group chat title. and we all scratch our heads. We're like, huh, what should the title be? It's funny because I was on the toast. She's like, what should the title be? And we both immediately were like, justice for snooki because we like had this funny moment in the <laughs> but it's like it's so it could be so random or it can make total sense for the episode or it could be like what i love that it's like you have to listen to really understand too. yeah you do yeah i like i like throwing people off where they're like what the fuck could this be about when austin listened to our uh, mashup last week he was like what in the brown button is going on <laughs> what in the brown button <laughs> stay tuned <laughs> yeah he listen. was like this was so chaotic i'm like yeah yeah so uh i i did this on my instagram but we're just gonna go I want this to have a home that lives forever because uh before we move on to instead of advice segment next we're going to do uh instead of advice segment next we're going to do confession segment I find it hilarious um the morning toast actually does something funny like this they call it unburden yourself oh. where you like unburden yourself from something that embarrassed you or whatever this is just straight up a confession time I've seen people do it on their Instagram stories too and I think it's hilarious so I want to do it I don't know why I always give these giant disclaimers. I guess I just never want anyone to think I'm copying them, but I've seen a also, lot of people. A lot of people do this. Yeah. A lot of people mm -hmm. do this. And I just, I think it'd be really funny to read y'all's confessions. So we had an anonymous jot form submitted. So you wouldn't, we wouldn't see your Instagram handle. Like we wouldn't see anything. You just submit, you know, this online form. So we will be reading those and discussing your confessions. Mm -hmm. um, my confession first, I would like to get off my chest is that, which I posted this on my Instagram. I have a debit card that has the Cubs, which is a baseball team, a professional baseball team. I have had this in my possession <laughs> since I was 15 or 16. I don't know, whenever my parents took me to the bank and were like, let's get a debit card. Let's start you a bank account. You can save money. Well, I was like no. very young. Like I, I couldn't drive. Like they drove me to the bank, right? My, t my dad just, oh my guys know my dad made me get a, a debit card when I was 11 and taught me like what? how to like balance my, I'm like, I was 11. Like what did I even buy at 11? Anyways, continue. That is wild. You're, pro wild. you're probably like 14. I bet your dad taught you how to do taxes too. I'm he like, did. Wow. Okay. I love that. I like, we did not learn mm -hmm. what's that meme that's like uh me how do i learn how to do my taxes public school shut up and square dance <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> like, which is what shut we did square dance. <laughs> okay oh, i'm just kidding. i really wish i knew how to do my taxes shut up and square dance i'm like <laughs> okay um so anyways that's great you know what Lo timmy I'm, loved I'm, I'm i still don't know how to pay my taxes um so yeah i got this debit card at a very early age and i was it was when myspace was still a thing so further, my space so further confession, I actually changed my background. You know how you could change the background and stuff? Not to Cubs. My background was Cubs. No, it wasn't. My friends called me and said, why is your background Cubs when theirs was like glittery pink? And I was like, I love the Cubs. And they were like, 
No, you don't. You're from South Carolina. It is a Chicago baseball team, and I don't like or enjoy sports. And I was like, I love them. I went so deep with <laughs> this lie. Them. And you guys already know my past with lying. I, I used to do it all the time. I'm pretty good at it. Um, and so I, yeah, I created this whole persona. I get this debit card that has the Cubs on it. Even my parents were like, why do you like the Cubs? I was like, I don't know. I just like them. I started watching them here and there. My mom was probably like, it's a boy. But like, I just really like leaned into it hard, right? It. That's so funny. Yeah. And then and then I had this debit card for so long. And then it just became like a conversation starter. So, oh, so here's the kicker. <laughs> you lose the debit card. Like I lost the debit card last year. You order a new one. It's in the system that you have this Cubs card. They send you a new one with Cubs on it every time. Every time I lose a debit card, which I've lost, I don't know, 6,000. Uh, that's what I was going to say. How do you sell the same debit card? Wow. It's they, in the system. You're locked. I'm locked into the Cubs card. you to a Cubs game right now. Tell me. A John Gert, my ex-boyfriend, took me to one because he thought I was a huge fan. <laughs> I am literally. I like, think I might have told him like he was like, "Where did this originate from?" But he was from Chicago. That is funny. So it was you, just a fun time. You accidentally manifested a Chicago Cub boyfriend. Yeah, I'm like, if you live in Chicago, I, God damn, I've got quite the fucking <laughs> collection. So I could really. I mean, people would buy. I have like T-shirts and all this kind of stuff. Like, people would give you Cubs paraphernalia. Yeah. They okay. Thought you were this is fan. how deep the lie went. This my sister made these for me for Christmas one year. This is a Cubs glass. Okay. <laughs> this glass has a hand stick. Like my sister got a cricket and cr did a cricket version you know like the labels why did anyone believe you i don't know because I, I think i did end up becoming a fan a little bit <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think i just you know they never won and everyone like when i would give my card someone, an underdog they'd be like oh you have the worst team ever and i'd be like i know tell me about it mm. <laughs> <laughs> and they'd be like yeah that sucks and then the cubs sucks to be a cubs fan you're like i know right i know right <laughs> oh, i hate it but then the cubs won the the Cubs won the World Series. Is that what it's called? I don't they know. They won the giant championship, the big one. They win this. Yeah, because the College World Series is that. They win the World Series. <laughs> and and I was ecstatic. And everyone was messaging me, go Cubs. <laughs> I was like, go Cubs, go. <laughs> Shannon's like, did Mary you place any money on them? You, no, I love. Y'all, Shannon's a wild sports better. I love Let me sports tell you what. I love sports betting. Yes, yeah, she's honestly she, it became legal in Tennessee and I have become unhinged ever since. She's I win real a lot. good. She wins I win a lot. a lot. And I know nothing about sports. I just have this feeling. I just like kind of like always listen, I fucking love sports betting. And I'm yeah. a witch. So like I we kind of go in together. Yeah, I'll be like, which one should I pick? And I'm <laughs> and I'm like, mm -hmm. No, but like even my ex and all of his friends used to be like, You did not just win that bet. And I'm like, oh my God, how funny. I just bet forty five dollars and won four thousand. And they're like, what the fuck? Yeah, no. It, Shannon'd be like, "Oh my god, you guys, this is crazy! I just won ten thousand dollars." Everyone's like, yeah, "Shannon!" It won't, it won't ever be that much, but it's like honestly jarring. People are like, "You did not just place that bet and win that." And I'm like, "I did." Yeah. So, anyways, um, props that's because that's you're that's because you're detached from the outcome. <laughs> yeah, you just you're really so right. don't care. You're <laughs> or, like, whatever. Or like, if I'm at a place <clears> and people are like watching sports, I'm like, "Ugh, I wish they would change the channel." I'm like, oh, "I'll bet on it, then I'll watch." <laughs> like, yeah, you're like, makes... let me give myself like a reason to watch. Yeah. So, anyways, I really Mary Carlisle messaged me literally and and was like, "Shannon, when she saw my story." She she goes, I always thought you were a Cubs fan. What the fuck? I was like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, no, no. So that's something that I did personally, uh, really leaned in. You know, people would ask me, I think for a while in college, and I said this on my Instagram too, for a while in college, I would, if someone would ask, I'd say my dad played for the Cubs. My dad fixes houses for a living, just so we're clear. Okay. <laughs> okay. My dad paints and like... <laughs> Vic is home. You know what? What a guy. We love Vic. We love Vic. Vic is a motherfucking doer. He gets Vic up every is a day king. and he will not not work. That man is a worker through and through and we love that for him. But let me tell you what he doesn't do. Play professional baseball. Never mm. has a day in his life. Never, never once in his life. Oh, man. I wish I, I got to think of a confession. Come back to me. I, I okay. No, that's fine. We're going to read some. Yeah, let's read it. <laughs> We're going to. So producer Courtney right now is going to text them. So we haven't read these yet. We haven't seen them. Uh, so she's just going to text us the confessions and we will read them. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> One time in high school, I was trying to sneak out to see this boy I really wanted to take me to prom. Well, I lived in a 70s style brick home and all the basement windows were the flip up to open windows. While sneaking out, my pants got stuck on the hinge, broke the entire window off the hinge. It shattered all over myself, my bed and all my shit. Me being the sneaky asshole that I was, I decided to run upstairs crying, saying that someone was trying to break in. <laughs> I would have done this. So I didn't get grounded. They also installed security cameras and that was the end of my successful sneaking out. No. 10 years later and my parents still have zero clue. I'm dead. That is honestly, that that's is some shit, Shannon. That do. is absolutely some shit I should do. We're going to do a quick pivot into a story that I just recently told my mom and she goes, no. So I, the one with the, I don't know. 
like I love telling this story because my mom is always like she is SKPI. So my mom's name is Sharon K. She calls herself Sharon K. Private Investigator because she is the bitch does figure everything out. Truly, it like she's like I've done it all. I've seen it all. I know it all, and you'll never get past me. So like I got caught sneaking out, and uh, almost never did we sneak out from my house because we just like really would get caught. My mom would wake up anything. I had a my first car was a Mustang, so like you would hear it. Also, does not check the fuck out that my first car was a Mustang. Um, so classic, <laughs> classic. Classic trashy girl. Um, so anyways, we, yeah, we would never sneak out with us. One time we were all at my house and we wanted to sneak out so bad. So I knew my parents' rim cycle. Like I knew we could really definitely sneak out at this like one Sh- time. Shannon's got like a clamp on their finger. She's monitoring <laughs> their vitals. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh, they're out of rim. Um, yeah, so I knew we could sneak out, but I knew the issue would mega, mega come into play with sneaking back because we were going to come back at like four in the morning or something. God, we really stayed out so late. Could you like, sneak how out. Like, you like, you I, I came home at 6 a.m. It's like, for what? For what? To, to, I'll tell you for what, to sit around a bonfire and hope a guy looked at me. <laughs> yeah. Spoiler alert. They didn't. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I was the funny girl. I was always in a field. Yeah. Always in a field of some sort. Right. <laughs> I'm like, how do we survive? So, I all, and I didn't drink. So there all was my no friends, water or bathroom. Nothing. I didn't drink. So all my friends mm. are just shammered on moonshine. And I'm just like, I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> like, why? <laughs> why was I happy to be there? So anyways, um, it was the thrill. I come up with this genius plan, which was in fact genius and did in fact work. And I say to myself, which by the way, my future kid, God forbid, uh, it's <laughs> all going to come back to me. I just know it. Um, <laughs> they're not going to be able to get away with anything because I will find out. So, um, yes, when we snuck out in our cute little party outfits and our hair and makeup done, whatever, I made everyone put their pajamas, like ugly pajamas, not cute pajamas in the trunk. Okay. And, uh, like a makeup wipe or something. And when we come back, I stop at the top of the road because I knew she would hear my car come back. I stop at the top of the road. We all get out. We take our, this is at five in the morning. We take our uh, party clothes off. We put pajama, Mitch Match t-shirt pajamas on. I like spit in my hands and like wipe my mascara crazy. We take off our lashes. We like mess up our hair, put them on buns on top of our head and like wipe our makeup off with makeup wipes, but in like a ratchet way that just looks crazy. And um, we get down as quiet as we can. And then I say the second this car door shuts, the second sprint to, we had this like, I don't want to call it a guest house. That sounds too fancy, but we call it the guest house. You've seen it. It's Mm -hmm. basically just like this little (laughs) freestanding area. Yeah. What would you call it? Like, it's like a pool house almost kind of. And so anyways, it's it's just like four, 10 walls. (laughs) It's not anything fancy, but we would keep, my parents would keep waters over there in like a deep freeze. So um, we ran to the guest house and we all grabbed waters. And then we, like my mom, immediately the porch lights turn on. Immediately she wakes up. She's like, what the hell are you guys doing? She goes, get up here right now. And we walk up. I go, sorry, we've been up all night. I don't know. I said like probably on like Facebook or something. We went, she was like, what are you guys doing? And I was like, we've just been up. We just came over next door to get waters. And she looked at us and you could just see it in her eyes. She was like, what, what have you? And I was like, sorry. And she goes, get inside and go to bed. Why are you girls still up? And I was like, we were just, I don't know. We've just been up and just taking pictures and just laughing and like giggling. and Braiding like, each other's hair. Yeah. And look she fully look. believed. Yeah. She, cause, cause she was like, these girls would never go out looking like this mm-hmm. and they're in their pajamas and it 100% worked. And you're like, and that's how to get away with murder again. And that's how you get away with murder again. <laughs> and it's like those funny ones that you tell later in life to your parents at Thanksgiving when you're like an old ass adult. Oh yeah. And my mom was approaching 30. Really that one. Yeah. <laughs> my mom was truly like, you're kidding. And she goes, well, damn, you got away with that one. I go, oh, we did. All my friends were like, you're a hero. But you can only really do that once. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, you can't keep doing that. You got to get, like, innovative. Mm-hmm. Saying someone broke into your house, though, is pretty iconic. Iconic. <laughs> like, and, and the fact that her parents were like, sorry, honey, we're so sorry. You're so scared. We'll put security cameras Camera. up. She's like, damn it. Damn. <laughs> you guys went too far. Shit. Okay. Don't read it first. Okay. Um, this one just said, all it says, it came through quick. I hooked up with a police officer behind a church and dick was bomb in all caps. Damn. <laughs> Honestly, okay, I have so many questions. Was he in uniform? Did you get pulled oh, over? Oh, yeah. That's like, that's like erotico. That's like, that's like kind of The beginning hot. of a porn kind of. I, I also like, first of all, pop off queen. Pop off queen. I wish my police officer story wasn't, it was the Russian sheriff and it wasn't like that at all. The Russian sheriff scared <laughs> us. <laughs> what if her, what if who she fucked was the Russian sheriff? That sounds like something you would do. I wonder if cops, are like, if that's like a thing, like they're in uniform, there are people that are like cop, like a chuckle fucker, but we're cops. Oh, wh- what are we calling? Oh them? my gosh. There's gotta um, be a name we, out there. We gotta call him a, a siren. Uh, a badge bunny. A, a badge beater. Oh, a badge bunny. Badge beater. They can't all be bunny. That kind of makes sense though. A badge. Badge. Uh, badge baddie. A badge baddie. A badge mm-hmm. baddie. Gives him too much credit. <sighs> it's 
gotta, it's gotta be derogatory of some sort. Yeah, that's true. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll circle back. We'll come back. I'm sure there's already a term for it. I'm so sure. We'll, they're gonna be like, yeah, you guys, duh, it's this. I know what police puswana. The popo puswana. I like that. We love a popo pussy. <laughs> Bob, pop that popo pussy screen. <laughs> actually thank you guys for your service we appreciate uh, yeah <laughs> men in blue god bless you just, and pop off queen for the cop dick um okay we'll do one more i once pooped my pants while i was walking my dog like full-on pooped not even a shard i was so far from home and there wasn't a bathroom nearby so i had to walk all the way home in 75 degree heat with actual poop in my yoga pants i immediately ran through the door and got right in the shower i am so happy that i was not wearing shorts that day you know that is a journey that I feel like a lot of people have been on and <laughs> they don't say it. I personally have never pooped my pants. I remember I one time sharded, <clears throat> but I was like in the comfort of my own home. Like, and I think I was like about to get in the shower. So they were maybe about to go to the bathroom. It is jarring how many people have, I shit my pants stories. I was just telling you to Grace the other day. Shh, can we talk about it? Yeah. The, <clears throat> the, well, of course, the funny guy. Short I'm King. Like, <laughs> Only a short king who's that funny can get away with a shit your pants story and still pull you. And absolutely, so he this just is like he our literally foreplay. just told their their four. <laughs> this was so funny to me. Like I always thought it was so hilarious, but he told me after like the third story about him shitting his pants, I go, I think you're shitting your pants for attention. <laughs> and he's like, I'm not. And I was like, you're definitely shitting your pants for attention. And he was like, I'm not. It's like a little kid. I'm like, are you doing this on purpose? Are you doing this on purpose? Did someone laugh at you was one he time? Drunk? No, none of the times he was drunk. Was he sober? Was he asleep? Like what? Never what sleep, never sober. Abruptly? I mean, I don't want to tell his poop stories. I feel like that's for him, for his, his oh, life. Oh, come on. Give me like a little Okay, well, like, see, what? one of them, he said he was like, oh, one of them, he said he was like golfing and like, uh, like. That would suck. But yeah, because he was, was like so rules. far away and he made some guy like go get him new pants and new underwear. It was like a whole thing. I just like, did he like just like chug a lot of coffee and just head out to golf? I said, I think you've got gut issues. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I think you're right. I think you need someone to look at your microbiome. Micro I right? don't know, but I said, I think you should get this checked out. He said, I've been thinking the exact same and I'm like looking into it. <laughs> I was like, okay. I'm like, yes, yeah, you might need a colonoscopy. <laughs> yeah, I think you need a colonoscopy. Honestly, <laughs> I, I thought the stories were hilarious and again, had sex with them. So <laughs> this is would, <laughs> would recommend. <laughs> It was another person too that if someone was like, oh my God, like let's say someone finds out who this is and they're like, I've had sex with them. I'd be like, congrats. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Wasn't it fun? Wasn't he so fun? Eskimo funny guy. Sister. And it's funny too because my the guy friend that like, like not, he, I don't think he was intending to set us up. I think I was just a slut. Um, but he had told me, he was like, you are going to really like him. He's really funny. So I'm like, okay. Cool. And you're like, and you were right. And he was You right. said checks out. Checks out. He is indeed funny. Well, the night, night one, you're like, we might be best friends. <laughs> night two, night I'm like, two you're like, we might be soulmates. <laughs> he's like i don't even remember your name i'm like anyways i think we're in love <laughs> she's like he's like uh i literally don't remember your name <laughs> cool love it me uh, me falling even harder every second that he doesn't remember me i'm like perfect why no we don't do that anymore no we don't do that we don't do that anymore we don't do that and and honestly we're i am keeping a, a score she of your progression thank you so much honestly you really have everyone Give Shan some snaps. She's really doing Thank good you. out there dating. We're just all on this journey together. And I know a lot of people will ask me for advice, but like I have to take my own advice sometimes too, because I'd be fucking up. I'd yeah. be like, huh? Uh, I, I think it's that way. I, I can give fantastic advice. And I'm like, wow, that was really great advice. I should do that. <laughs> you know what's crazy? I should do that. <laughs> That's so crazy. I should do that. I have a whole podcast giving advice and I should fucking take it. Yeah. What about, what about that? I know. I'm always like, damn, I have great advice. Um, oh, yeah. So we have about four days until Coachella. Yeah. Um, Which, by the way, I have to spend the night on Tuesday night because I can't do this. You can, your, your traffic, the traffic cannot be trusted. Traffic journey. I told uh, Courtney and Shannon that I'm going to, they're going to make a holograph of me. Yeah. She goes, I'm sorry. You're just going to have to make a hologram of me. <laughs> to hologram. be here with me. Or like, I understand why people are going to meet in the metaverse. So that's going to happen one day. Yeah. Because no one's going to want to leave their house. I get it. I fully I get that. I need a helicopter. I'm watching Yellowstone right now and they're like, get the chopper. And I'm like, can you get the chopper? Can you believe that she's watching Yellowstone this late? What an iconic show. And I also, she's like, now I get the best stuff. No, I, I I just now get the best stuff. Y'all, one time Shannon took me to a field. <laughs> 
Shannon drove me to a field. No, this is true. She was like, I'm going to get into a trough and we're going to take a picture. Naked. And- you know the scene? Yes, this I know. This is not spoiling anything. It's a scene where Beth is naked in a trough. She's just trying to get attention. Me, 100%. She's got like a bottle of champagne and she's trying to get everyone's attention and cause a stir and a ruckus. And she's Shannon's naked. naked with a bottle of champagne and we're in a field in the middle of nowhere. And I literally dead ass, I want you guys to know, for like a year and a half, I didn't have a TV. I'm like the most, like, I don't ever know what's going on TV wise. And I'm literally like, I don't even think I questioned you. I was like, she was like, is- not a problem. <laughs> We couldn't find a trough. Let me tell you. Even it was first, so weird. We're up, like, she's like, then I'm looking for the trough. Yeah. Now she's like, I'll help you find a trough. She's like, man, guns. Like, we're like, it was like a, like looters were probably there. Yeah. Honestly. It was like an abandoned barn. It was actually fucking scary. It was kind of scary. <laughs> okay. And then here's even further for that. John Party and Summer Party actually live on a farm. And we were watching the premiere of the last season of Yellowstone. And I was like, okay, hear me out, John. Don't y'all have cows? And he was like, yes, which John and Summer are always so here for my bullshit. <laughs> They're so funny. <laughs> they are hilarious. They're like the best. And I go, okay, I want to, and I'm like, you know the scene where, and they go, yes, of course you know the scene. I go, can I get naked in one of y'all's troughs? And he goes, but girl, we don't have a, we don't have a trough big enough, I don't think. And I was like, what do you mean? He goes, they're pretty shallow. And then <laughs> Summer's like, you're going to get a disease from the troughs we have. They're like nasty. I go, no, 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 it's okay. I'll figure it out. I was dead set. I was like, I have to lay in one of your troughs. And you know what? John took me on the on the four wheeler to show me the troughs they had. They were indeed too small, but like the commitment so that still, my friends have for me oh, to do this. Literally. And you know what he said? He goes, he looked up how far away or what time Tractor Supply closed because it was on a Sunday because that's when it premiered. And he was like, should we go or it might still be dark by then? Like he was fully prepared to go to Tractor Supply <laughs> to help his wife's friend take a naked photo in a trough. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a man I'm trying to marry. Like, yes. you got Summer. You've got to keep her. <laughs> You've got to keep like, him. He, yeah, and I was like, it's going to get dark. And John, thank you so much for trying. I appreciate it. And he's like, we'll get you a bigger trough next time. And I was like, okay. Well, <laughs> and, and the thing is, is that I literally texted Shannon three days ago. This was six, eight months ago. Uh-huh. I mean, this was a long this time This all ago. happened yeah, a while ago. Three days ago, I texted her. And I'm like, I, I, I just understood the trough Trough. thing. Why one day you sent me into a field. I thought it was like some weird, like hazing friendship thing. (laughs) She's like, find a trough. I'm going to get in here to my photo. And I was like, okay. Okay. (laughs) Honestly, we are so here for each other's. We really are. Bullshit. We we commit to the task. We're like, yep. Checks out. Got it. All right, guys. Well, we're going to go ferociously try to put together outfits that we probably should not be wearing at our age. They're going to show our anyways. (laughs) Yeah, we're going to show our boof holes in Coachella, and um, hopefully we'll get it on camera. Yeah, my mom said this year my nipples weren't allowed to show. They did the first year. Did they the first year? Yeah, they did. Actually, I had... Um, if you had my nipples, they'd never show. I had... I know, Shannon, I send her clothes all the time. I'm like, if I had your nipples, I would wear this top. People do that. No, other people do that, too. Your nipples are fantastic for fashion. I get, They, I like, get, really don't show. I d- recorded a whole TikTok yesterday that was sponsored. It was a mesh bodysuit, and I was like, I'm going to do a little jig. It's going to be so cute. I did the dance. I'm like, perfect. I nailed it. I look back, nipples the whole time. My nipples are staring into the camera. <laughs> Did you submit it? No. Oh, okay. I've had so many accidental nip- I would have been mortified. I submitted it to a brand and they're like, hey, really quick, we love the cute dancing video, but your nipples are showing. Wait, this is also hilarious. I'm not going to divulge the name because they put it on their close friends and it's not my story to tell. But today, like a huge, huge, massive influencer just posted and a screenshot of someone being like, babe, that's your nipple. And she like posted her nipple on her close friend story, which I'm sure is just like girls yeah. and what her best friends. And she, uh, I'm not calling myself one of her best friends. I'm just so she she was like the text underneath this said love that 20 different people approved this because as influence we, we have to submit stuff in <laughs> like we have to submit stuff for approval so like she said that like 20 separate people approved this video and her nipple is just out i mean i'll show it to you but i was like that should happen that's why delete it th- yeah then she reposted it without the nipple but i was like uh, it was a tiktok too and so I've i was so like many have sets. you submitted it being like because apparently you can submit them people still won't see no, it they'll approve this it. one was like wild it was like <laughs> both of them uh, yeah but i do have random strangers text me and be like oh if you if you want to wear this your nipples will be perfect in it i'm like people haven't seen my nipples i just say they're really well a lot of people have seen my nipples yeah but they're you have great nipples. not the not the vast majority of the internet i don't think <sighs> anyways oh yeah coachella year one i had like these like star pasties and then it was just like naked under you're wild i know my, i love it it was my first year i was like really not even an influencer mom was like karen at my orange theory class said that was absurd <laughs> Don't ever embarrass me like Don't that in my workout again. Me like that again. I was like, oh my God. We're like, boy, do we have the next five year ride for you. <laughs> Literally, we were like laying our heads down to go to sleep, closing my eyes. And I was like, Austin, I just want to. 
prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. I'm going to try to keep you in mind in your career, but also. But at the back of my mind. <laughs> Could you imagine like how my mom feels going to the grocery store every day? Like, like my parents I, don't watch. They I'm, no, no. My parents don't listen to the podcast either. But people, I asked them, I'm like, do people stop you and ever say anything about like, she's like, well, a lot of people are just really nice. Like, oh, I love seeing, you know, Shannon and what she's doing. Because I'm from a very, very, very small town in like Gilbert, South Carolina is like population 400. So uh, yeah, she's like, oh yeah, people will be like, I'm like, what do you say? She goes, I just always go, she's crazy. You know, Shannon. <laughs> She's like, I just deflect and say like, oh, I can't take a hold of that one. I think that's what my mom says. My mom always goes, oh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> Mom's always just like, you know, she's always doing something. <laughs> that's just what. And then my dad's probably like, all hell. <laughs> all all hell. hell. My dad goes, I can't look. I can't look. Your dad's so pure, though. He's my so dad's sweet. like a, in a motorcycle gang. <laughs> I love that about Vic's like secretly a baddie. Yeah, he's like kind of crazy i love my dad's a savage we love that for me okay we've honestly been trying to sign off for an ever but we keep saying anyways bye and then we just keep telling more <sighs> I stories i love it here it feels this great this is phone calls with us feels by good. the way we, we stayed... talked on the phone for 30 minutes before we got on the podcast and we said bye six times and then she's I was like, like oh, hey really also. quick <laughs> <laughs> okay we're really signing off ttyl kiss you miss you love you bye love you so much bye